It feels as if YouTube making YouTube videos has become a place of escape for me. There are very few things in my life where once I start making it, it completely wraps up my time, my focus, my concentration. Like when you start making a video for YouTube, all of your thoughts become just about that video. I noticed that there could be hours that could pass by and you don't even notice it because the only thing you're thinking about is what's the topic going to be? What are you going to talk about? Your thumbnail, your description, the hashtags. How are you going to keep people for longer than 30 seconds, right? And I just started thinking about that and how I began to filter in my system. I'm now making more videos than I ever had in my life. I have now become so particular about so many small things. And this is a good thing. I don't see this as a bad thing to become more particular about the choices I make with my videos. But if you certainly want your videos to be more successful, then yeah, you, you start taking in more of the world, more of what's working on YouTube. You start honestly becoming more attuned with what viewers want to see. And you start understanding the fact that you succeed the more that your audience feels like they've been fed, the more that viewers feel like they've been fed something that's valuable for their personal life, right? And that's really important because it stresses the art of human connection and coming across with that human connection. I think that if you're very ingenuous or a person that means harm or what isn't really authentic i think that comes across with a camera it may not come across the first time but over time people will begin to pick up on it right i think that when you truly are someone who cares about what your audience wants what they want to see what you think would work for them i think they feel that you know and it it makes them feel connected to you as well too I have another video in which I talk about, you know, there's certain decisions I've made for myself and my editing style because I felt like it made me spiritually happy and also taking me into consideration to keep my happiness. But I think with everything, there certainly is a balance. You can still keep your happiness, but know exactly what maybe your audience comes to you for, right? Because if you neglect them, then they go the other way. And when you first start YouTube, you don't even think like that. You say, I'm just going to make a video and I'm going to make whatever and it's going to have whatever in it. And if you ever see a lot of YouTubers who are start finally starting to gain success, you see this trend of where they first started. You know, usually most people don't post a video and go viral the first day that I think that's probably a uh, unreasonable <laughs> um, thing to expect but usually a lot of the successful creators they usually have about two to three years down you know before really gaining traction or success sometimes a lot more depending on the niche and the competition of the niche as well and you always see how their channel usually starts without a defined direction it's as if to say as they begin to find more attraction and, and grow a bigger audience their audience almost dictates where their channel goes because let's be honest if you have one type of video that's doing much better than everything else well you're going to double down and repeat you're not going to continue to do other other things because that's what you want to do well in most people cases right because you want to continue to ride that wave of success I know like when something works you continue to do it and it reflects and almost changes you man this creator life it's something you know it it, it, it requires your time your energy but I actually really love that I don't look down upon this I say that it makes me more voracious it, it motivates me it changes me it, it it makes me want to strive harder because this this doesn't come easy. Like I, I do want to be very honest with you. I'm not saying that it's wake up and you're like, man, this is so hard. But it's very rare that anyone becomes an overnight success, right? Because why should a person care about you, right? When you start YouTube though, you don't even think of these sentences. 
But as you continue to go forward and you gain more knowledge and more understanding, you begin to think like this. You become, you become to think like a psychologist trying to understand the inner workings of a whole framework. It's really exciting. It's really interesting. You, you enjoy every moment, but it certainly is a process. And especially if this is the thing that feeds you, being a full-time creator, whew, you always have to put your foot on the gas. And I've noticed that as well too. Like being a full-time creator, my foot is on the gas 24 seven. I'm always trying to diversify the streams of income that I have. I'm always trying to find new opportunities to, you know, get some more money and be more financially stable and eventually have absolute financial freedom. But when you're just starting out and you're a creator getting into this and let's say you hope for it to be your full-time thing that you do man you're in you're in like survivor mode now you have a job you can keep that going as well too until you're ready to make that full-time transition as well and that's a whole nother process in itself making that full-time transition from being uh you know, someone who does creation part time to someone who does creation full time, completely different mindset. Like I wake up and I say, we need to start creating. And I like today, I've probably made six, seven, eight different videos for different social media platforms that all serve different purposes. Some are meant to create more leads. Some are meant to be posts that will develop over time that will gradually gain traction and interest. Some are meant to show me being active in a community so that people see my face. Some posts I direct or I make, let's say for my Instagram, are meant for my current existing audience. And then I make content for new potential audiences that have a completely different feel and format because it has a, a higher chance of reaching a bigger audience right so just take that into account when you first start youtube you don't even think like this and it's so crazy how much you'll shape your mind my job doesn't start you know stop at nine to five and yours won't either once you go into full creator world it's nine to nine but what I will say to that is that ability to dictate your own schedule. Like I took a I took a walk the other day, right in the middle of the day, and I was like, whoa, this is so crazy because during the weekdays I hadn't been able to take a walk in the afternoon to enjoy the sun for ages. Like I forgot the feeling and I just thought about that. I said, man, that ability to control when I can just take a walk in the afternoon sun is so important to me. I value that so much that I don't want to lose that feeling again. Right. I don't want to have a job telling me, you know, when I'm going to take a 10 minute break, a 15 minute break, how long I can use the restroom for for the rest of my life. Man. And then two, I can scale up myself faster, right? When you first start being a creator, you're not going to make money. We all know this. But that potential that if you really put work in this, you will grow. That's a fact. This is not a debate. And you can continue scaling this up faster than any job you'll be able to take out there in the workforce. And the way that Things are playing out with lack of job security. I never reading that last job contract. They put in a contract. They can terminate you at any time that they feel fit to do so. With the way that job security is, careers are, there's no loyalty in careers. And these companies will lay you off with it without a second thought. You know, it's a nice feeling to know that being a creator can really help pay your bills and eventually take over everything and be your full time job you can take it with you anywhere you know that's a beautiful thing you don't have to want the, you don't have to be in one location you can record a video anywhere once you have it going and you're fully on and rolling you can record a video anywhere and that type of freedom is invaluable allows your job to be portable you can go work in argentina you can go work in spain you can go work in brazil you can go work in germany and still keep things rolling right man that freedom is just is so important and it's something that I definitely don't take for granted, especially as I move forward, because those are my goals to finally be able to travel now as a full time creator as well. So you just fight for it, man. Once you have that in your hands, you're like, I can't let this go. And 
For some people, it may be stressful, but what's more stressful for 55 years having someone tell, telling you what time you're gonna come to work, what time you're gonna wake up and how long you're gonna use a restroom for, or working even more, but potentially setting up your life to scale for more money in the future and being able to go outside when you want to, right? I don't know, you know, you tell me. For me, that is something I'm willing to fight for. <laughs> but YouTube has changed my like mindset in that way. It's, it's changed the way I think about psychology, it's changed the way I thought about life, it's changed the way about I think about salary and pay and what I, how I want my life to be dictated and what I want for my life. It's made me more voracious, it's made me more intense in, in a good way, in a positive way, in a motivational way, way that says, okay, we can do this, we continue elevating. You're not where you want to be, but you can always close that gap between you and perfection. You can always close that gap between your failures and your successes, right? You can continue learning from every moment. And I just think this whole process has been really transformative and creative. So when you happen to YouTube, expect these things to gradually happen to you. I feel like it happens to everyone. You start, you won't have any direction. You won't even really be thinking about YouTube in terms of, you know, how you should address it, how you should approach it. But as you take it more seriously and you begin to gain traction and build success on the platform, you will finally, you'll, you'll start to, it'll start to seep in. It'll start to say, you'll start to say, okay, how is my thumbnail going to pull in people? Okay, how's my title going to pull in people? Okay, how's my description going to follow up with everything else? Okay, how am I going to start the video and give value to my, you know, my, my fans or people who potentially could watch this video? These little things are going to change you. You're going to change about, wait, if I do this seriously, this could be my full-time career. How do I make a full-time career? How do I reach out to brands or how do brands reach out to me? When is it the right time? All these little things are going to begin start to, you know, fill in and, and and you're going to start thinking about it and it's an incredible process and you just take it all in and enjoy it because again that ability to eventually do creator you know creator life full-time it's invaluable it's invaluable so this is oriel music artist entrepreneur creator just loving life taking it one day at a time and to everyone uh, i hope you guys are having a blessed day blessed night blessed morning till next time ciao ciao